So today is cruise day, and we're going to be sailing on a cruise ship that I have never sailed on before, at least as a passenger. So for this voyage, I will be sailing with NCL or Norwegian Cruise Line. Now this will be my second time ever sailing with this cruise line since I worked for them back in 2018 and 2019. My first and last Norwegian sailing was on board their newest ship, the Norwegian Prima out of Amsterdam. I took a 10 day Northern European cruise and finished in Copenhagen, Denmark. However, this ship that I'm sailing on today is the class before it, which a lot of people say is overall a better class of ship. And I would agree even only being on board as a crew member. We will be sailing out of the largest cruise port in the entire world, Port Miami. And when we get a little bit closer, I'll give you the name of the ship. And of course, once we get on board, I'll give you all the details, the pricing, all the little giblets you guys might be curious about. And I'm also already having a small problem. I'm not sure if it's my fault or the fault of Norwegian, but whenever we get to the port, I'll explain. And I think I see our ship off in the distance. The Norwegian Joy. And here we are. Thank you. We've made it to Terminal B. So believe it or not, even after arriving to the terminal, I have no idea what my check-in time is. I don't know what time I'm supposed to board. I don't even know what cabin I'm staying in. I called Norwegian yesterday to try to gather this information and they couldn't tell me as far as the cabin number because I'm still in the bidding process to do an upgrade. As far as the check-in time, they told me just to come in in between 10.30 a.m. and 2 p.m. That's kind of a little broad for me, but whatever, it's not a big deal. I'm just a little confused as to how all of this works because this same situation did happen when I jumped on the NCL Prima in Amsterdam last year. Now to be clear this could very well be my fault. If you guys normally cruise Norwegian please let me know. That way I can understand for my next cruise. I'll just take my bag over to check in while I ship through some emails. Maybe I can find my room number on there. Well thankfully all the porters here have a sheet with all the room numbers on it. Bag is checked in. I have my room number and this gentleman here is tipped. Thank you sir. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah just to be clear the room situation is not a huge deal. Maybe it was an error on my part. However, if that is a situation, I guess NCL should find a better way to maybe streamline that and make the room number easier access to people. Now let's head on into Terminal B. In we go. Now we play the waiting game. Now, typically on embarkation day, I do arrive later than earlier. Why? Because you want to avoid all of this. All the standing around, and, well, if the terminal should be kind of like wonky, you don't have to stay here all day. Now, don't get me wrong, there are a ton of advantages to getting to the terminal earlier and getting on board the ship earlier, like being able to explore and eat and all that. It comes down to really just a personal preference. Up we go. So it does look like to prevent overcrowding, they let a bundle of people come from down there to up here, like in sets. This way to check in. Oh, at least we've made it upstairs. We've made it upstairs and now the fun part security by the way while we're just standing here a little bit of information about this terminal this is norwegian's newest terminal nicknamed the pearl it cost 225 million dollars to build it was built in the year 2020 however it didn't receive passengers until after the cruise ship shut down due to covid in 2021 we have officially made it through security it took a while there was a 30 minute pause to even start the process i would assume it's because it looks like from the looks of it that this is a full ship it'll be a full capacity as many people as they can stuff into this thing. I'm officially checked in. I went over to the station. I added my credit card and they gave me two items. I have my room key and I also have this boarding group number. I'm group number 48. They just called group number three. I saw one of my friends here, by the way, that works for NCL in the photo gallery department. He told me that normally it's not like this. However, we are at full capacity, so it is a little slower than normal getting on board. This handsome man here is my friend Dylan. He works for Norwegian over in the photo booth. Either way, if you ever get a chance, come over and check this man out. He's the kindest man you'll ever meet. Sometimes. Thanks, guys. <laughs> so I've been here for about an hour now, but it does look like they're starting to find their boarding group. They're calling number after number. Once again, that's group number 47. There's our group. We've officially been called. Thank you, sir. That way. Thank that you. Way. Here we go. Time to board. This feeling never gets old. We are officially on board. Well, technically not yet. We're not inside, but we, we are on the ship. How's it going, man? Sir, do you have a kicker, maybe? I do. Can I see it? Right here. Okay, just go on the down, scan our kicker a little bit. All right, thank you. Yeah. Wow, here we are. We're looking for E7, by the way, guys. They told me to be over here somewhere. Go ahead and scan in. Well, we are officially checked in. It was a really simple process. Prior to coming on board, we did already watch the safety video. They gave us some instructions and where to go in the event of an emergency. And now we're good to explore the ship. 
This is so cool. It's so nice to be back on an NCL ship. I'm already running into so many people that I know. I heard plenty of my other friends are going to be on here. I'll try to introduce you guys if I can. But in the meantime, we're going to do some exploring because we can't check into our room until about 3.30. And it's at 3 o'clock now. I'm feeling deja vu just being over here. So this is the same class of ship that I used to work on back in 2018 and 2019. We used to have a lot of places that we couldn't go over to, like this Starbucks, for example. But now... I can go all I want. It looks like this is where we go for the excursions. That's interesting. So you can do all of it manually. I think we're going to head up. Now this is going to make me a little paranoid, but also going to be a cool feeling. I don't gamble. However, when I worked on board the Norwegian Escape, I was not allowed in the casino. We could pass through it, but if we were caught here, we were terminated. No questions asked. Here it is. And I have also stepped foot in the casino. And guess what? I'm not getting fired. At the Skyline Bar attached to the casino. Hmm. When I was on the escape, this was where the club was. So we are currently on deck seven, working our way up to deck eight. I'm not giving you guys like a full tour. I'm just giving you a little skim of everything as I also feel it out myself because I've never been able to walk around in this class of ship before. Here we are at deck eight and we have the waterfront. I believe this is gonna be similar to what they have now on the Prima class ships. <laughs> Look at this, the door closed on my hand. Can somebody help me? Yeah, this is exactly like Ocean Boulevard. Obviously, this was here before the Prima, and then soon to come out in August, the Viva comes out. But definitely a nice photogenic area. Now, we do have a lot more exploring to do. However, we just got some good news. Our rooms are officially ready, so I'm going to go ahead and drop off this heavy bag, and then we'll go check out some other places, like the pool, of course. Super random, but this is cool. If you don't know where your stateroom is, because it can be a little confusing trying to find your way around, you can just go ahead and have this touch screen tell you exactly where to go. So I'm right here. It's telling me just to turn left and then go straight down. We made it to our stateroom, 15156. Unfortunately, my bag is nowhere to be found, but it is what it is. Let's see what we're working with in here. And here we are. So I didn't get the upgrade, but this is a standard stateroom, a balcony cabin. I did pay just over $1,100 for this stateroom. It does include basic Wi-Fi and unlimited drinks for a four-day cruise. So it depends on your budget, obviously, but I would say personally, not a bad deal. Let's check out the balcony. I know that's what all of you guys want to see. And not bad, not too small, but it's not large either definitely a comfortable size to just kind of hang out here and just lounge around and of course you have this beautiful view of Miami here we go I was never allowed out here when I worked for Norwegian so this is gonna be cool good afternoon welcome out poolside we'll be kicking off your sailway party in just a few minutes time this looks pretty cool very very nice Oh, and I'm definitely going on that slide over there. We have a pool there, and we have a pool over there. We got slides here, slides here. In a minute, we are going to check out the Spice H2O area. That is the adult-only area. Well, one thing's for sure, there's plenty of lounging area. Right here on board, and I'll let you into a little secret. Every single one of them has a Norwegian Cruise Line t-shirt. for Felipe! Now before we get too crazy, just to give you a couple facts about this ship, the Norwegian Joy was launched in the year 2017, costs $800 million to build, has 20 decks, and holds just shy of 3,800 passengers. This ship also belongs to the Breakaway Plus class, has a go-kart track, and was originally designed for the Chinese market. However, they eventually brought it over to the U.S., and it's been doing fantastic. The only thing this ship doesn't have when compared to its sister ships also in the same class is a thermal suite over in the spa. Back on deck 16, they have the American Diner, and also also up there they have the speedway that's the go-kart track I am definitely gonna do a race or two and of course I'm going to win first place I think I think it's cool and interesting how all the way here in the after back of the ship they have a cruise ship classic right next to one of the greatest cruise ship innovations go-karts mini golf pretty cool just went down a deck and I think I see one of my favorite spots spice h2o the cool part about this area is that it is adult only no children allowed. So if you ever want something close to like maybe what a virgin can provide, this here is what you got. They also have an adult only hot tub here by the way, as well as a bar on the other side. Now we do still have a lot to see on board the Norwegian Joy. However, it's almost time for the sail away. So we're gonna go ahead down to the pool deck for the sail away party. We are officially sailing away. See you in four days, Miami. What are the odds that I would run into celebrities on this ship? Ladies and gentlemen, 
celebrity. <laughs> You're a celebrity. This is Griff and Alyssa. Make sure you follow them. I have their tag right up here. Give them a follow. They are amazing. And they just had a baby. They just had a baby. Well, so we have officially sailed away. And I have to be honest, like the ship is beautiful. It's cool to see so many people on board. I think it's at full capacity. I'll double check whenever I get a chance. However, the sail away party was eh. Well, I guess it's time to do some more exploring. So I am a little hungry. I think the next stop should be the Garden Cafe. And hopefully, fingers crossed, they have my favorite thing, Oreo cheesecake. Here we are, the Garden Cafe. Washi washi. Washi washi, happy happy. I haven't heard this song in years, so we're gonna sing the washi washi song together. You ready? ready? One, two, three. Washi washi, wash your hands. Good for you, good for me. Washi washi, wash your hands. Makes me happy. <laughs> I love it. I know, I know. I should never sing again for as long as I'm alive. Well, here we are. The Garden Cafe. So we've got the burger bar. Looks good. Pizza. We have the salad bar, but we don't want any of that. Pasta. And for dessert, we have... Wait, this can't be right. No Oreo cheesecake. So I just spent an hour over in line for the internet thinking it was just my phone. But I come to find out for the past couple hours since we sailed away, the app for NCL is not working. So in order to book any shows or any activity that needs to be booked in order for you to attend, you can use this screen right over here. And they have two of them over here by the atrium. Hey look, my bag. In you go. Go ahead and charge my stuff up. No way. Do you guys see this? <laughs> Compliments of Ragagagwa I, I don't know who. Oh, Ricardo. Ricardo Pin Hero? GM. There's nothing, doesn't say anything. But why? So I've got some wine and chocolate covered strawberries. So, just showered, freshened up, I'm all shiny and new. We're gonna go check out my friend Frank Townsen at the comedy club. This is a conundrum. So over here is where my friend Frank is gonna be performing his comedy show. However, you had to book it. And if you didn't, you gotta go to the standby line. But the problem is in order to book, you gotta use the app. Here we go. Welcome to the social club for adult levity comedy. Please put your hands together and welcome to the stage, your headliner, Frank Townsend. What's going on, boat people? Y'all yeah. good? Yeah! It's a waste of time. Those are the people with the kids. My name is Frank Townsend, you're the rest of your night, everybody. Have a good one. So next, we're gonna see if we can go ahead and sneak into the theater to see the Beatles show. It's been a Now that was a lot of fun. I was just catching up with Frank. We're gonna hang out, get some drinks tonight, have a good time. But, of course, I have to leave you guys on a cliffhanger. We're gonna end this vlog here because we have four days of adventure. We're in Great Syrup K tomorrow. I haven't been there in years, so I'm gonna document it. Of course, on your way out, let me know your thoughts on the NCO Joy so far. Norwegian Joy, people get mad when I mix it up. Norwegian Joy, let me know your thoughts. Is there anything you want me to see? Let me know in the comment section. Of course, as usual, I love and appreciate every single one of you. I'll see you later. Take it easy.